court takes decision on the suit seeking Soludo's disqualification. This one is interesting. Reactions have started pouring in that um, hope is not um, hope. Ozodima's case. Emo's case that is loading right now in Anambra State. Remember what happened um, during the Emo State governorship election. Emeka Ahedioa was the one who won the governorship election, but um, Supreme Court, working with the All Progressive Congress APC, they used the back door to enthrone Hope Ozodima as the governor of the state. Chukuma Soludo, the candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, won the Anambra governorship election and that took place on the 6th of November. But um, there's a suit um, seeking his disqualification. The suit is ch actually challenging his disqualification and also that of um, his running mate, that's the deputy governor-elect. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment, but before we do, guys, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button, and if it's your first time, you're very, very welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Now to the news. The Federal High Court in Abuja yesterday fixed November 30th for the judgment in a suit challenging the qualification of the governor-elect and deputy governor-elect Charles Soludo and Oyeka Ibezi for the November 6th governorship election in the state. Justice Taiwo, Taiwo picked the later date after lawyers to the case made their final submissions. The plaintiffs, Adindu, Valentine, and Egudike Chukubuk, are claiming that Soludo provided false information in the affidavit from EC9 that he submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and thus should be deemed unqualified to stand for the election. In the suit marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 711 slash 2021, the applicants contended that Soludo indicated in the affidavit that he was contesting the Aguta 2 constituency seat when in fact he was contesting the Anambra governorship seat. Defendants in the suit are INEC, the All Progressive Ground Alliance, ABGA, Soludo, and a basin. In their final submission, the plaintiffs, the plaintiff's lawyer A. O. Ijeri and Kelvin Okoko argued that having indicated the wrong seat he was contesting, Soludo supplied INEC with false information, violated exempt legal provisions, and ought to be disqualified. As against the contention of lawyers to the second to fourth defendants, Ijeri argued that his client has established that there was a course of action and that the court has jurisdiction to determine the case. Counsel to Abga and Soludo, Oyenchi Ikbezu San, argued that the suit was without merit, adding that the court lacked jurisdiction to entertain it. He argued that an error in an affidavit cannot be a basis to disqualify a candidate from election noting that the false information contemplated in section 31 of the electoral act was criminal in nature he maintained that the false information claimed by the plaintiff was not among the grounds stated in the constitution for disqualification of a candidate lawyers to INEC bashi abubakar said his client did not file any process in the case and has elected to leave the decision at the discretion of the court in the first instance uh, i actually thought the same that it might have been um, a typo error typographical error because stating that um, the the ec9 the affidavits on the ec9 shows that um, he was contesting for aguta aguta alone everyone knows that uh, that's uh, contesting the aguta two constituency seat Everyone knows that uh, Chukuma Soludo has been talking about the governorship election, Anambra um, state, what he will do for the state if he's elected governor. There was even a time that he stated what will, he would do when he's elected. And also another point in time when he was holding a family meeting in his hometown and then um, there was an attack. Remember that incident that looked like there was an assassination attempt on his life. Two, about two policemen or three policemen were killed, policemen that were attached to him. So Ludo was weeks away and God spared his life. He was uh, 
he, he, he didn't die but sadly for the policemen uh, that were in that uh, meeting on that day they lost their lives god rest their soul but immediately after that um, incident um, speculation started going around that this was uh, politically motivated and at the first instance when soludo spoke after that incident he insisted that nothing would stop him from running the race the governorship race that even this attack this incident because the speculations then was that because it's an assassination attempt on his life it's possible that soludo will, will uh, draw back will pull back he wants to protect himself but um uh, that was not the case when he spoke he he gave the uh, mandate that the uh, security officials should fish out those behind that attack however He's going to push on. He's going to be contesting for the Anambra governorship election. So this suit stating that um, he uh, he misled INEC by filling the form that he was contesting for Aguta 2 when in fact he was actually contesting for the Anambra governorship election is really, really interesting. Nigerians are already reacting that uh, it's a plot. The same thing that played out in Imo State that probably that is what um, they are cooking up. That is what they are planning right now. All sort of reactions anyway someone said that you see Igbo people you are causes of your own problems you people are now inviting Hausa Fulani headsmen Boko Haram to destroy your people because of politics politics because at the end of the day who are those who are going to be um, the judge in this case another one says that uh, I hope a repeat of emo experience is not loading in Anambra PDP candidate should please proceed to the tribunal just in case <laughs> apc there's nothing they cannot do you know apc came third far third not even second in the governorship election uh and uh, um, they will do anything even the apc governorship candidates will recall what even happened recently when uh, uh one of the chieftains of the all progressive congress congratulated soludo <laughs> that landed him in trouble he was sacked for doing that you can imagine that the apc candidate andy uba Andy Uba is seriously kicking that he will not accept the result from my neck. He won't accept that he's going to court. So a lot of ca court cases surrounding uh, Chukuma Soludo's victory. We'll see how all of this goes. But Nigerians are watching closely because this, this is a scenario that is about to play out. It looks very familiar. That is why that person is stating that Hope Imo, the, the case, a repeat of Imo, Hope is not loading in Anambra. That everyone should shine their eyes very well. Hope that is not um, um, loading. Another one says, please cut or no cut, let us be. We have made our choice. Anambra State has made their choice. Please respect the masses' choice. It was clear that um, the, the, the people chose uh, Chukuma Soludo because for APC, for starters, APC as a ruling party, they failed Nigerians. Nobody will want to vote for APC, a failed party, even as uh, in spite of what, whatever they are putting out there that they are the the main uh, party people are moving over and uh, what not all they are doing for pdp the opposition uh, people are still looking at them that they are not really far from each other so the people voted for um abga that's what they are saying that leave uh chukuma soludo he's our choice we'll see how all of this plays out well guys um let's hear your own take the court has just um ruled on the suit seeking soludo's disqualification and um set a date for judgment 30th of november thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe so that i come your way again on more updates bye